Hey, this is Robert, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the importance of getting a good electric violin with a good sound versus a cheap electric violin uh, with a cheap sound. Uh, so in a previous video, I did a comparison of an NS-designed electric violin to this uh, cheap, unbranded electric violin that I found on Amazon for like a hundred something dollars. Uh, and what I did in that video was I just simply compared the sound that you heard directly from these instruments. Now, the question is, can we use a lot of software effects, good quality software effects to basically fix the cheap violin sound? So we're, we're gonna explore that today. So let's go ahead and jump into my screen here. Uh, this is a track that I recorded before, and uh, let's just give a quick listen to the sound of the violin. This is an NS Design violin with no effects, no nothing yet, so let's just give that a quick listen. All right, very simple. Uh, what I did was I just added all kinds of effects. I added some reverb, some saturation, some delay. Um, and this is what I ended up with. All right, and then um, basically it just complements the entire track. Uh, so let's just give that a quick listen. So now we're going to go ahead and see if the, what those effects sound like uh, on an NS Design violin that I recorded from that previous video uh, versus the cheap violin. So here are the recordings from that video. Let's just give that a quick listen without any effects again. Let me turn all of these effects off. So that was the wave violin. Now let's uh, listen to the cheap violin. So right away, you notice there, there seems to be a, a portion of the frequencies missing. Like a lot of the lower frequencies just aren't there. Uh, now let's go ahead and listen to the pizzicato. Again, that was the Wave uh, electric violin by NS Design. And here's the cheap uh, electric violin. All right, so a very twangy, kind of unpleasant sound. So now let's go ahead and listen to this with the effects. So let me just add all of, all of them back in. And again, we're gonna listen to the Wave. So now let's go ahead and listen to the cheap violin. Now let's listen to the pits. This again is the wave violin. And the cheap violin. All right, so you can definitely hear the difference between the wave violin and the cheap violin, even with the effects added on. Uh, it felt like with, when I was playing the cheap violin, half the frequencies were missing. It just did not sound full. Uh, it sounded very lacking, like something was just missing uh, compared to the wave violin. Now, it is very important to choose an electric violin with quality sound uh, because in music production or just simply recording, what you do is you want to start with a very, very full sound. And then depending on the instruments you work with, then you start chipping away at it, all right? Uh, however, if you get a cheap violin with a cheap sound, you, know, you don't have this full and present sound. Instead, what you have is almost like this little nugget. Just a lot of things are missing. It sounds wispy, it sounds weak, it sounds nasally. Uh, and then you're trying to use the effects or filtering to try and make it sound fuller. Uh, it's just really not possible. Um, 
So it's very important to choose an electric violin that can deliver that full sound. It just makes it so much easier and so much more fun uh, to produce music with. I hope this video was helpful. If you're interested in learning more about electric violins, be sure to subscribe to this channel and to check out these instruments at